And I'm back. Okay. Uh, so much happened. Like, when I paused the game, so I can't even remember what I was doing before. Uh, well, actually, I do. Uh, I was trying to figure out how to do the thing here that I actually can't do, because they can't make the king like me anymore. That he already likes me at the moment. I'll have to wait for some opportunity or something to occur, but if for now, I just I can't. And my spy mm, wrong. My chancellor. Oh my! That is actually perfect. He just improved relations with the king. That means I can. Yeah, I can actually demand this fucking touch here. Uh, yes. Oh my god, this is amazing. He has to accept. He likes me now. I mean, it. <laughs> Disappointing! What a fucker. Okay. So obviously he doesn't want to give up two counties for me to become a duke. I mean, he he is... If he does that, let's see it from his perspective. He gives away all of the, the, the retinue... The, like the... He gives away all of the manpower, like everything here and the economy of this and slumps it under me. I, these taxes go to me, and of course I have to pay him my taxes, but it's just, I can understand why he doesn't want to do it. It's good for management. The lesser, the, the, the less of an amount of uh, vessels under you that you have, the better it is, obviously, but still, the more power, the greater. And Denmark is a small country, so there's no real reason for him to... Hmm, give me more than what I need, so to speak. But, it, yeah, he's still a dick about it. I mean... Uh, I, I so want that. I so, so want... I, oh, I'm gonna do this. <laughs> Otherwise we'll never get anywhere. I so want it. God, I want it. I want it. He's... His economy isn't exactly booming. He's doing pretty terribly for himself. Well, uh... What was I about to say before... Shit. Well, hmm. Never mind that. My wife is pregnant and everything is amazing. Well, it isn't, but... I had a half-brother who died. He was under my dynasty because you can see from the teardrop that indicates he's my dynasty and he was legitimate. Otherwise, it would have been black. Ah, uh, what did he... I did... He died a natural death at 28. Okay. First of all, no. You don't die a natural death at 28. Don't fucking scare me, game. That's not far off from, from where I'm at. Jesus. And now my background here changed, which means I'm leading troops. He's having me lead troops? I have five, Marshall. I'm piss poor. <gasps> oh. Well, we had a daughter. I'm sorry to all feminists, including myself. I'm sorry, but a daughter is just not cutting it. Why did I want to change the name? Elizabeth is fine. I'm gonna name her... <laughs> I'm gonna name her Elizabeth because I'm not funny or like creative in any way. Fine, be Elizabeth, be a girl, be you. I'll have a son. Okay, so he doesn't want to give me counties, but he wants to change laws and limit my autonomy. I have decided to institute a limited crown authority law. What is the current law? Autonomous. We have all the power now. He wants to... Well, limited isn't so bad, and he'll like me more. I may need that. Usually you should always just ignore him. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever he is, just ignore. They can't really do anything. It's not like they're gonna chop your head off if you like say no to... Do you want a beer? No. Off with their head. It doesn't work like that. I got a tithe! That's great! Thank you. Uh, can you get pregnant again really soon? Like, like now? She's kind and content and lustful. Lustful is great for children and fertility, obviously, but it also presents a lot of other problems uh, that may happen. She may 
be taking a lover, which is awful for business. But that lover is me, and she is very unlikely to take more lovers. That is, it's just, I might do that because one, I'm a man, and it, it is the medieval, the Middle Ages, uh, and two, <laughs> because I like to play like an asshole and just make all the babies. But yeah, she's not gonna. Uh, as nothing is really happening at the moment, I'm just gonna increase the speed and probably trip myself uh, into making bad decisions because of it. Let's look at the world for a second, shall we? Shut that down. How is England doing? England, England, England is besieged here, as you can see by the stripes. This is partially besieged. This is under attack. This is fully, like, they've taken that from him. Uh, so, good old King Harold II, like history, through history, he did. he's not doing too well. Oh, William the Conqueror, <laughs> or the Bastard, uh, depending, uh, his wife is actually imprisoned by the King of England, so not doing too well there. And his youngest daughter is as well. Hmm. Yeah, keep fighting. <laughs> Good luck! Gambate! His eldest son has a lisp. That's adorable. Uh, okay, so the plan. The plan for me. Me. Little count. Scorn account. Me. My plans. When I get my fucking son... Excuse me, one moment. When I get my fucking son, I will... Make sure he gets a wife who has a claim on land so I can take that land and make sure their children will inherit it or can fight for it. Because that's just the, that's the long term plan in getting in, in conquering land. It takes a while, but it's more reliable and it is. I, I prefer it really. And you don't want to expand like crazy. It isn't. It is very unlike games like C, uh, Civilization Five, and stuff like that. But, uh, this is actually good. Work can be tedious, and when one problem is solved, another one pops up. I tire of having to complete the same tasks over and over again. Let someone else do it. Forty-five percent chance of gaining slothful. As you can probably fucking tell, this is bad. I can rest in heaven. Seventy percent chance of gaining diligent, which is the polar opposite. Uh, this is the virtue, and this is like the, the fuck is the opposite of a virtue? The vice, yeah, the vice. So this is like the opposite in stats as well. I'll gain plus to almost everything. The only bad thing is opposite trade opinion, but I don't give a shit about that because it's so good. So good. Look at my stats. Look at that. I gain a one to everything. I'm an amazing... I would make an amazing priest. But I, I want to make children. Catholic priests don't get a lot of action. Oh, Holland isn't a country by this themselves. That's unusual. Hmm. Oh, and there's also disease in this game. Although I have to say, <laughs> the game is representation of uh, the plague, like the bubonic plague. It is pretty awful. It when it pops up, it does once between. The age, um, ages 1300 to 1400, it pops up once. It has like a chance to pop up, and when it does, it it immediately disappears after a few months, and it never occurs again. It only occurs once, and it's so weak. It's like it's nothing like the absolutely devastating disease that just killed a third of Europe's population. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, the deck works. It works. Oh, I'm so happy. Sometimes it just... The game doesn't tell you, oh, you're fucking infertile. But it just, like, years can drag on and nothing happens. I actually had one thing that happened just once. And that was... I I married a woman... We were both 16. That is the, the youngest that you can marry. And for some reason, we just... I think we turned 38, both of us, and we didn't have any children. I was seriously panicking. I was... 
I was panicking like a lot because I had no like my uncle was alive and he was almost 65 and he was the only one who was set to take over and he was a celibate so that game was pretty much lost it's terrible King of Sweden is at war with Count Feste of Dale or in Swedish Dahl also he wants to take this little independent piece yeah he should be able to do it if you can't do that, I wouldn't fucking trust him to make a bowl of porridge. That is like this. I've seen them I've seen them fuck up some pretty basic stuff. But he should be able to do that. And my wife should be able to give me a son. If she knows what's best for her. Otherwise I'll just kill her or marry again. I mean I have the option. I have pretty decent possible plot power, I could murder her. Of course that has some ramifications if people find out mm, but but yeah it's worth it if she doesn't give me children I have to even though she's my lover that's like the kind of unrealistic aspect of the game like I love you when I'm killing you what the fuck no no oh she's quick why are you a girl why are you my what? This always happens. This, she's never going to inherit. She's the second born daughter. She's never going to inherit. Why is she called Elizabeth? I have two. She's never. And she has an amazing trait, which is quick. It's completely like arbitrary. She didn't get it from any of us. She didn't get it from me or from her mother. I don't get this. How? Why? Why are you good? Why? You were probably going to go to a nunnery. Are you gonna be a genius in a nunnery and like, like oh. I'm pissed. That is terrible. That trait would be amazing on a boy. Why are you a girl? Why? Why? <laughs> I'm feeling you, Henry VIII, right now. I'm sorry, that guy was an absolute murderous, tyrannical beast of a man, but this is just... This is the panic. If I have five daughters, I'm gonna be seriously worried. They can inherit because of the laws right now. They are agnetic, cognatic, gavagite. Oh no, gavagite. So cognatic just means that women can inherit, but only if there are no males. But... But it's not good. I'm going to tell you why it's not good. It's not good because you turn 16, way I take over, great, my dad just died, I'm great, this is my time to rule. And then fucking, she gets pregnant, and she dies in childbirth, and the kid is like zero years old, and everything collapses, because it, mm, it, it's not great. And also people hate you just because you're a woman, that's the realistic aspect of the game. <laughs> like the old time, like religious misogynistic aspect of everything like women couldn't rule women couldn't do anything sorry i just cracked my knuckles i forgot i was recording <laughs> this is terrible i'm just this is hello have you met terrible this is terrible <laughs> i feel bad for this non-existing person <laughs> this is terrible this is terrible terrible talk is that a that's what it is. Terrible talking is out of the quick. Man, that would be... She's probably gonna be absolutely epic. She's gonna travel around the world. She's gonna go to Greece and fuck every guy and become an amazing warrior. And just become an absolute legend. She's gonna be like Catherine the Great and be fucking 60-something and just fucking everyone. And ruling everyone. And be so rich. Watch it happen. Watch it fucking happen. Terrible will live, I tell you. And my... Uh, my marshal died because he was a stressed cripple. So that's sad. Bye. Let's get a new one. Mmm, yeah. You'll have to do, I guess. And now I need another. I'll just get this done. Uh, let's train some troops. Good. Also, I should probably see to my court and make sure that people get married just a little bit so I have some potential good people in my court who with good stats. So, 
so let's just take this lowborn woman and marry her into my court to some nobleman. Like, what? No, you. Oh, all the noblemen are actually of the wrong. They're, they're Germanic. Why are you Germanic? Excuse me. Why are you Germanic? He's a Germanic pagan. Why? You have the old faith. Like Odin and Thor. That's great and everything, but... No, he's not actually like pagan pagan. He's not as a true, which is the, the Scandinavian. But he's he's wrong. He's real wrong. You should feel bad. We can't, we can't have... They always inherit their parents' religion. And that's not good. Aren't there like some men here? Egino, well he can't actually, can he marry? If he can, that's great, but I didn't think Catholic priests were allowed. Nope, they aren't. Catholic priests aren't allowed to marry. Too freaking bad, okay. That, that was a war. <laughs> Things are, I have to boost up the speed a little bit because otherwise we would never get anywhere. So I'm just gonna invite a noble to court and I'm gonna make sure that he because they are always um, of a dynasty, like a family. They have a family name. So I'm gonna marry. I'm gonna make sure that Ingeborg, they are married so they can get some children action. I just wanna make sure that people don't die in my court and nothing happens. I don't have any people in my court I can use as counselors. And if they get some good children, then that's just. that's great. I'm st what? 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 <laughs> when did this happen? When did this happen? I just think I burst something in my head. I mean, all, all the blood just went from, from to my head. Oh my god! When did this happen? And how did it happen? This is not right. This is no way. <laughs> He's a Varangian. He's a member of the Varangian God, Harald Hall. How did you? How? Okay, let's. We can actually find out. So instead of being absolutely. <laughs> I don't know what has happened. Kingdom of Norway. No, Kingdom of England, which is, which is now a part of Norway, but it's still like. It, you can still check it out. Okay, let's check its history. <gasps> so he... But what happened to William the Conqueror? He's just a revolt now. His wife is still imprisoned by Harold, who's imprisoned by the Norwegian king who took... How did you just conquer it in war? They were at war with each other. Oh... Oh, that's what happened. Okay, here's what happened. <laughs> According to uh, logic, reasoning, deduction. Okay, here's what probably happened. Okay, William the Bastard, the Conqueror, whatever. He was at war with King Harold II, trying to conquer England. Of course. The Norwegian king, Harald Horvath, my dad-in-law. Great, fantastic. I really am glad that I chose him as my dad-in-law. He just saw this. I'm gonna as an opportunity because they were diminishing their troops they were battling each other head on and they probably both were suffering because like historically they were pretty even in the number of troops well so he probably saw like this is my this is my this is my chance this is this is it oh great boy this time please so he just jumped in and fucking annihilated everything <laughs> I just sat down on the throne and I was like, This is mine now. <laughs> this is my court. These flowers are mine. Nice garden. Lovely women. I'm staying. Kudos to you, Harald Horl. As I remember, you lived uh, to be very old and very awesome. And you're living up to your actual legend. I think this is amazing. <laughs> this is disbelief. I mean, Norway always takes Iceland. Yeah, and he has. The thing is, this looks like, wow, he's gonna conquer Europe, but yeah, you know, when he dies, which might be pretty soon, looking at his age, 
His sons may be completely incompetent and just lose fucking everything. There's bound to be some rebellion over here. But so far so great. <laughs> ah, and the king likes me more. But I don't think it actually matters at this point. I can't really do anything. Well, I can take one home, I think. Because that's just one count. So I can actually... I think infighting is actually allowed. I'm gonna see if I can sneakily be a dick. Trying to get some land here. Trying to get some things going. I won't be taking over England, but I can take over a single county. A rumor about a spy sneaking around in my own castle was confirmed this morning when I caught him red-handed. I am not concerned. Well, I am. Gain hand piety, but no. Behead him. Uh, two plus to marshal and minus plus. I will kill him with my bare hands. Nah, I'll, be I'll behead him. Yeah, that seems like that seems like a reasonable thing to do in the Middle Ages. Beheading people for being spies. Sounded weird, but I actually meant it. Do, 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 do. Not much is happening. Well, except for this, which was all like great and awful all at the same time. Moo moo. <laughs> moo moo. I shouldn't laugh at that. That's probably like a historically correct, like Konafta and all that. I should <laughs> That's great. But it just reminds me of the Moomin trolls. I think Scotland used to be called Albert too. Wow, that's some serious rebelling going on. Rebellioning. He's rebelling. Is he winning? And, uh, nah, he's not winning. The king is like halfway through actually winning the war against him. So, enjoy jail. For the rest of your life. Probably. How the jail works is like, mm, you get prisoners, you can like get money for them if they can pay, or whoever's responsible, responsible for them can pay. Or you can just let them fucking rot. You can also put them in the oubliette, which is like, uh, it's it's from the French word oublier, which means to forget. Uh, oubliettes is uh, like, it's, it's just fucking, it's a hole in the ground. And you just toss people into it and you just forget about them. It's absolutely horrible. It's like, a, if people are already sick when you throw them into the oubliette, they die like almost instantly, like old and sick. Because that's just where you toss them when you like, I don't want to release you, but I want you to die like soon-ish. So yeah, goodbye. It's terrible, but it, it's also really funny. Uh, there are no factions. There's nothing going on. I'm sorry. This is uh, the Pope likes me, sort of. I could go uh, to Rome and um, like try to seduce the Pope with how awesome I am. Whisper into his ear about how awesome and great and magnanimous I am. Everyone loves me. Oh yeah. Are you? <laughs> well, he's not quick. That's the bad news. The badder news is he's also fucking sickly, so he'll probably die. I'm not going to name him after her mother, her dad. Oh, I should. I should, though, because he conquered England in two seconds. I was looking away for two seconds and England was no Norwegian. That was amazing. I'm gonna call him Harald. Harald. Yes, you are now Harald. You are my son. If you die tomorrow, I'll be sad. He probably will. I think sickly gives like a minus two to health. My ambition now, uh, become, become king of, yeah, that's not gonna happen soon. I could become a chancellor because I have 16, yeah, extra troops. I could become a chancellor because I have 16 diplomacy. There's a chance that I could get chosen. The chosen one. Oh, it's actually two. Minus 2.5. When children are born sickly, this can be inherited by the way, uh, they um, they keep on being sickly as a child until they are no longer a toddler. So around, I think around three or four years of age, and they start, you know, it just disappears and they are just normal. If he gets sick at the same time as being sickly, he's almost certainly going to die. Every character has sort of like a standard five health um like it, it's the hidden hidden um uh, what do you call it 
what she might think you should watch or what do you call it? It's it's a hidden number. Like it's not it's no it's not mentioned anywhere. But it's five, basically, like as an average for every character. Uh, and depending on whether you get sick or you are strong and blah blah blah, things like add to it or subtract. If you're at zero, you you will you are likely to die. But it also determines, which is more interesting, how long you will actually live. Like for instance, like five, a health of five means on average you will live to be maybe 50, 55 or something. If you are not sick or ill, anything. Uh, if you have less than that due to being maimed, being ill, being syphilitic, being blah, blah, whatever, um, it will mean that you most likely will die prematurely. So maybe between 30 to 40 years old. And the guy that I married to this woman had a son, an unremarkable one. But he, it, that's good. He'll make a good counselor probably. I'll make sure he gets a good education. French Civil War to lower crown authority has ended in white peace. That basically means that no one could get the upper hand, and it's probably gonna erupt again. Ooh, I'm 39 already. I think we've played for some years now. Not many. My eldest daughter is three. Terrible is, uh, terrible still lives, and... Uh, oh my god. Why? It would have been so good! Instead, he's just sick. He's probably gonna die while I look at him. No, don't say, don't say it. I should not. Asker of Lo Oh, I hate this. I hate when coaches go like, "Oh, I'm better than this guy. You should, you should like, you should like me." And she did. Better. It's like constant, like, "Oh, I have one more to this stat, so please select me." Stop. Stop. The worst thing is, everyone loses opinion of me when I fire them and rehire and fire. Because, and, and this, like, it's the ball. The traits they get and, and lose all the time means that they get more to the stats and then less. And it's just a constant, constant juggle of, oh, I can't even talk. It's so annoying. It happens all the time when people are pretty even. So he says that he's a better steward than Ufe. Ufe is my current steward. He has three, uh, 13. And he is- oh, okay. Yeah, okay. He has four more, so that's actually fair. He should be steward. You are now my steward. Congratulations. Get me some money. Uh, don't get killed by rebel. As per usual. They actually do pretty often, I find. Maybe it's just my luck. I should get better counselors. I'm bad at that. You can go through a list of characters and like, search for people and invite them to your court. If you, they like you enough, they will. Even though they don't fucking know you. But, yeah. Uh, uh, yep. Can something just happen? This is just a lost cause. I'm just doing it in case it happens. But seriously, chances of him like fabricating a claim for me... Oh my god, you don't look very... <laughs> chances of him fabricating a claim for me, they aren't great. It's like 10% on average, and uh, yeah, it, I think on on my average it probably happens maybe every 10 years. I've gone a, an entire lifetime in this game without anyone fabricating any claims. No! My son died! Sickly infant. Well. How is my wife doing, by the way? They can pretty easily die if they get sick after delivery, but she's fine. Ah, uh, Elizabeth. If I kill Elizabeth... If I kill Elizabeth, that sentence shouldn't be said. Oh, I can't plot to my... Oh, I can't kill my own children! Why? That isn't fair. Why? You would do that in real life. You would. They would. Oh, you better believe it. In the Middle Ages, they would kill daughters in order to make sure the better ones... He probably wouldn't know that this one was quick, but he would. He would kill her. That is bad. I want Terrible to be... <laughs> I want Terrible. Terrible is my... He's my spirit animal. Her stats are gonna be great. Believe me. Yeah, so nothing is happening. <laughs> Uh, that's a lie. 
something is always happening. You just have to like it's yeah, something happens all the time. You just have to catch it. Francis, yeah. I think Spain formed pretty late in history. I think it formed maybe in the late 1400s, maybe. But as of now, I think no, I think it actually did. I think it, yeah, I do think it did. I think Isabella of Castilla and oh, I can't remember. But I have a, I have another type, which is amazing. Hmm. Oh my god, how did he manage to do that? It's just so, it's so amazing how he. Why does his youngest son inherit, and he's an illegitimized bastard? Oh, both are. Are all of no good? Both of his sons are bastards. That could create some problems. Oh, also, you can actually have inbred children here, which is great. <laughs> Ooh, I've been experimenting a lot. Great, I have extra level. Level? <laughs> oh, yeah. Great. Awesome. I have extra troops, basically. I would love to take this land down here. I don't have anywhere near enough troop troops to be able to do it. But it would be so great. And since I'm not the king, I mean, it'll just slump under him. I mean, if anyone wants to take this from me later, they have to challenge. They have to declare war on him as a whole. No one can declare war on me directly. Only counts from within the same country, counts and dukes, uh, can, create, can declare war on me. They are the only ones. And that is amazing. That is the best part of being like the small fry. It, it absolutely is. Oh, oh my god. Uh, the, the amazing king died. Everything- <gasps> Forget everything I ever said about this man being great. He didn't He didn't ensure his succession. It just it just it it just you you take an entire country and you don't make sure that whoever inherits your country gets it. That is that is fucking reckless. Shame on you. Dead man, shame on you. Who is the king now? Edwin? Oh no, is this- is this canon? <laughs> who, who are you? Schwieke. 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 I'm sorry, I can't. This is like... This is Anglo-Saxon. This is ancient. Elfgar Elf Elgith Edwin. This is probably like the rightful rulers. These are probably more legitimate or have more right to rule than Duke William the Bastard. He never became king. Well, he still has a chance, but this is just, this goes to show, like, this this shows you, like, it, history. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Three th things happen at once. Um, yeah, history in this game just never becomes what it really was in real life. The peasants told the whole castle about the dragon they saw in the forest, and now the eager young men keep nagging me about a true dragon hunt. Some gold mice? No. Fearsome dragon, thou doth not scare me. Oh, I gained one marshal permanently. Dragons do not exist, right? Oh, this is terrible. I will kill it and hang its head over the hearth. I think not. I think one marshal is good enough for me. What I was about to say is that England has some major rebellions and uh, and and the rebellee is already in prison. Maybe he did he really declare... Did he really declare war when he was in prison? You can do that. Oh man, I, I have no idea. His daughter is married to the French king, so he should have some sort of alliance. So I can see why he would want to declare war. Oh, anyway. I was fed up with the courier's... Courier? <laughs> I was fed up with the courtier's constant nagging about a decrepit bridge in need of fixing and decided to inspect it myself. That sounds like an amazing idea. Show me the bridge. Joel, the bridge is inspected. Wait, Joel? No one in this exchange is called Joel. This is Henrik. This is Torgils. This is me. 
This is shit. Oh, this is Yule. Oh, he's a dirty, dirty, dirty heathen. If I had not trusted Yule, I wouldn't be alive. I was hanging from the broken edge of the bridge with my one hand and the other was... With my one hand and the other was firmly... Okay, yeah, that's not correct. Was firmly held by Yule. The bridge was about to break when he told me to let go of the bridge and as I did, that he pulled me off. <laughs> Who wrote this? What kind of... the? Anyway, he saved me. Thank Jesus for Joel. Mutual trust. Oh yeah, we love each other. We're getting married. Can I demand him to convert? <laughs> yes, I can. You saved my life. No, do not be heathen anymore. It would be great because he has a dynasty. I could marry. Yes. Now it's just a sympathy for pagans. I'm fine with it. Now everything is good. Now, no women. Well, I could go abroad <laughs> and see what fine selection is. Oh, that's gross. Adelaide, you look interesting. You. How's. House de Vexin Amiens. Uh, um, yeah, I'm not good at French. He's chased, but whatever. His dynasty will get. Mm, yeah, whatever. I don't want to wait till she's 16. I'm just gonna marry him to this woman. She's 28, that's good enough. You probably should always marry the youngest women that you absolutely can't, uh, can. Because, uh, one, it's gross, and two, it's just best for fertility. You get the most children out of it, unless they die, of course, but you can never predict that. Well, don't marry sickly women, or weak women. There's a trait called weak and one called strong. Just, just go stick with strong. It's, it's better for you, seriously. She should get married again. Married. <laughs> yeah, that's what she should do. She, I meant to say she should get pregnant because uh, that would be profitable for me. <laughs> 